All right, guys, this is Jay. I'm back. I actually had to go work out before making this particular video because I, I screwed up again. You know, I have this bad habit of counting my chickens before they hatch. I have this bad habit of talking shit before it's time. And uh, this is, just to give you an idea, this is March 13th, 2023. Now, I think on Friday... I was talking trash, which I normally do, it's just who I am, about, you know, having control, having disciplines, having patience, sticking to your plan. But at the same time, now, I think on Friday, that's when S SBW, SWB, whatever that bank was, that bank went over. Now, I knew that this particular trader, this managed EA, it was going to affect it in some sort of way. Now, this is what I mean by that. If if the U.S. market opened a certain way, if it felt a certain way about that bank closing, and then you had the possibilities of other banks closing or going out of business, whatever the case may be, I knew, I knew this in my gut. I knew that gold would be affected in some way. I knew it would be some sort of a crazy market. So my mind said, hey, go in, tweak some of your settings, or just stay out of the market altogether. Now, I did that on some because that's what we chose to do. But on some of my smaller accounts, I said, just let it roll, man. This is like lottery shit, right? So let me show you what, what happened, guys. I want to show you where we are. Uh, like this first one, we started this one with 950 bucks, right? So right here, they say the gain is, and, and you've got to be careful with this. Make sure that you guys go inside and look at everything because uh, my FX book, it confuses me with the percentages sometimes. But, you know, we'll just go with this right now. The absolute gain is 811%. Is, um, um, but as you can see, we have over nine, <clears throat> excuse me, $9,000 in that one. The $100,000 account, that's still a demo account, but we still copy trade from this. It's 200 and some odd percent up. Now, look at this. This was my small one. This is the one that got to me. It broke my heart. This was my $100 real money account that I was showing you guys. Man, I just let that one roll, right? As a matter of fact, what I did is I increased my risk on this damn thing, and I lost 74% of it. Now, that's not all the way around. My absolute, I'm down 15% from the beginning. From the very beginning of it, I'm down 15%. But at the same time, and this is with me, um, uh, what, what's the word? Taking out withdrawals, adding to it, things of that nature. But it still hurts because uh, uh, I think I showed you guys on the spreadsheet what plans I had for that because I have a, a new granddaughter. And I just said, okay, if I start trading her account with $100 by the time she's like 10 years old, 10 years from now, even five years from now, I should have like 100 grand. Yeah, okay, that's just me. And then, of course, our new one, I didn't trade that one today. That's the Coinex uh, $1,000 test. Again, that is the demo account. But what's so cool about this managed account, uh, well, managed EA, is that um, it, it's not a scalping EA. And what that means to me is it's easier to get uh, similar results. So I'm going to go into each one of these guys and I'm going to show you exactly where I screwed up and what was the um, what were the consequences of doing just that. Hold on. OK, guys. Now, here's the my FX book of the one that just broke my heart. Now, remember, all of these that I'm about to show you, and I'm going to show you two more after this. It's all the same managed EA trader. But. The big difference, this is the one thing that you've got to learn and you've got to stick to. That's the discipline and the money management aspect of it. Now, of course, they have different brokers as well. But at the same time, this could have been avoided by me just taking a very simple. I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, here's the bad part. I'm thinking in my mind that ah, it's, a, it's 100 and I think it was up to 170 some odd bucks from $100. And I just said, it's 100 and some odd bucks. The other ones that are attached to our group uh, trade copy, that's a little bit different. You know, that's $10,000. It's uh, $15,000. That's a, a group pool. So that has to be a little bit more conservative. 
and plus we don't need to make as much in the dollar amount. So let's take a look at this really quick. Here's the gain uh, down 74% overall. Since I've had it, I'm actually at 15% under from 170 some odd dollars down to 14 bucks. Now, of course, since this was my grandsons that I was making an example out of, granddaughters, I'm sorry, that I was making an example out of, I'm going to go ahead and replenish this account uh, today, tomorrow, or the first of the first of April. I, I don't know exactly when I'm going to replenish it, but I just have to just show you this, guys. We were trucking along just perfectly, and in one freaking day, bam, it hit. And just to show you this, hold on. Now, this is what it looks like on our platform, right? And uh, every trade today, again, 313. Here we go. Look at this. $30 loss, $27 loss, $24 loss, $21 loss. And that leaves us with a balance of $1,473. i am hurt. I'm hurt. But it could have been avoided. And guys, and, and trust me on this, I have, and I think I've told you guys this, I have uh, hired people to manage my accounts to try to pass prop firms the whole nine yards, and they screw it up. I've never invested in someone passing my prop firm, and I mean my prop firm challenge, and it was successful. So I don't feel too bad because I just know that everyone's human, including myself. And again, it's a $100 account, and I shouldn't look at it that way. I should look at it as a $100,000 account, and I would have had a different mentality. I wouldn't have been so anxious to double it and quadruple it. So lesson learned, hold me accountable, and I'll hold you accountable. Let's look at the ones that were successful. Now, not only that, when I think this one even hurt me worse, guys, this is my prop firm. The one that I was talking shit about only on Friday. I was talking trash. I think I was like a hundred and seventy some odd dollars from passing my prop firm. Now I'm pushed back even farther. I, today I lost one, uh, 106 bucks. So I think I feel even worse on that. But this thing right here saved me and I still live to fight another day. So I'm going, I'm past the three month period right now on trying to pass this. But again, I'm still happy. I'm still proud because I didn't violate. You know what? I, I still have my account. And I, I think that I paid one, two, three, four people to pass accounts for me and all of them, they violated. All right. So I'm doing better than these the so-called experts that knew everything about trading and yet i'm using eas on this and i'm managing it i'm using a uh, a, a trader who's walking me through okay this is why you should do this this is why you should do that and i make my own decision so here i am right here guys and as you can see i'm a little bit lower 13152 13152 let's see well, how much do i need just a second Okay, guys, here's my new back office, and now I'm like $597 uh, from my target, right? So uh, I lost a lot of ground right there, almost like $300. Let's see. And here you can see no matter what. Uh, hold on a second. You can still see that I didn't breach hard breach or soft breach, so I still live to see another day and my max drawdown limit for tomorrow is still 394 so that's cool so let me show you a couple of the ones that were copy trading into real accounts those aren't bad so those were my two disappointing uh accounts for today but i, I still want to show you a couple of the other ones and here we're looking at the hundred thousand dollar demo account for test and we're actually um we're actually trade copying this as well. Now, remember, whenever you trade copy something that's $100,000, if you have only have $10,000 in your account or even $1,000 in your account, you're going to adjust the settings as such. And we're having pretty good luck with the demo account uh, as far as translating those results to a real money account. Again, because this is not really high speed. Um, uh, what is it? Um, high speed scalping or anything like that. We're not doing too bad. But this is going to show you a little bit. This was 
Again, I want to stress this. This was the exact same managed trading account, but based on our settings, based on our risk management, based on when we turn it on or off, uh, the timing of the trades, this was a successful day. Let me show you the actual account. Here we go. There's quite a few trades today. As you can see, this was on the 13th, and today the profits were $20,000. Um, on this now remember it's still up like 300 percent or some shit like that uh here twenty thousand dollars for the day let's see what the balance is three hundred and some odd thousand dollars now again we started this i think in november you know first of january i mean first of december something along those lines so that was successful let's look at one more and then we're going to call it a day this is the last one guys this is the one that we started with like nine hundred uh, 50 bucks. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, right at a thousand, a little bit over a thousand. I'm sorry, guys. And uh, you can see it's up 811 percent. This was still a good day for this. Now, remember, guys, I just want to say this over and over again. This this style of trading would not qualify. It would not qualify for prop firms. You're going to blow your account. You're going to have a hard, hard violation quickly if you try to use something like this with um, prop firms so as you can see the drawdown is like 34 percent now that didn't happen today but at some time right here which was around january 27th that was like 34 percent drawdown so when people come in and they say that uh this this ea is trash or the management of the ea is trash no nah, it's just really your your expectations and your money management let's take a look at the real account and see how much trading it did today Last but not least, here's another demo account that we actually live trade out of. And uh, again, this is the one that I just showed you on my FX book, but it showed today it was a profit of $438. So that was still a pretty good, no, it was more than pretty good. That, that was pretty good uh, for a close to $10,000 account. As you can see, right now we're at $9,100, a little bit over that. And uh, these are all the trades that it took today. Remember, this was a managed EA. Uh, it went quite, for lack of a better term, it was aggressive today. Again, because of the U.S., uh, around the U.S. Uh, market, which went like crazy. Let's look at this. Uh, look at this. We had a $200, I mean $300, pretty close to $300 loss hundred and six dollar loss and then all the rest of them were wins again guys the drawdown will kill you on this if you're using this particular risk management for challenges it's not going to work all right uh, i'm gonna go uh, get my head right uh, see what's happening with the news and uh i'll let you know what i'm going to do for tomorrow go out there make some real money guys i'm good now that i've talked it out with you <laughs> Later.